when two solutions that have different concentrations are separated by a semi-permeable membrane, water molecules will flow from its region of high concentration to region of low concentration. In this illustration, there are two solutions, solution A and solution B, separated by a semi-permeable membrane. Solution A has a higher concentration of water molecules compared to solution B. Therefore, water molecules will flow from where they are highly concentrated in solution A across the semi-permeable membrane to solution B. Now, the flow of water molecules will continue until an equilibrium is established between the two solutions. That is, the levels of water molecules in the two will be equal. Now, if you look at solution A, there are fewer number of sucrose molecules. The sucrose molecules are the solids. So solution A can say, be said to have low solute concentration. Well, relative to solution B, solution B is said to be had to have a higher solute concentration. Now, in terms of solute concentration, solution A has a lower concentration of solute, and in this particular case, there are the sucrose molecules relative to solution B that has a higher concentration of solids. Solution A is therefore said to be hypo, hypo for below, and then tonic solute concentration, while solution B is said to be hyper, hyper for above, and tonic for solid concentration. We can therefore say as a general rule, that whenever two solutions of different concentrations, that is tonicity, are separated by a semi-permeable membrane, then the direction of osmosis would always be from the hypotonic solution across the semi-permeable membrane to the hypertonic solution. And this will continue until the two solutions become equal in terms of water molecules concentration. Remember the solute molecules like sucrose are too big to move across the semi-permeable membrane. So it is the water molecules that are small enough to pass across and therefore they are the ones that bring the equilibrium in terms of water concentration. Let us look at what happens when two solutions of the same solute concentration are separated by a semi-permeable membrane. If you look at solution C, it has the same number of solute, solute molecules as the water molecules concentration. So this makes the solution to be 50% sucrose solution. Likewise, if you look at the number of molecules of the sucrose and water in solution D, you see that they are the same. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for water. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for sucrose. So likewise, solution D is 50% sucrose. Now, these two solutions, having the same concentration, are said to be isotonic. Solution C and D are isotonic. So what happens in terms of movement of water molecules? There's an equal number of movement from one side to the other. That is, the same number of molecules will move from solution C to D. And likewise, you're also going to have the same number moving from D to C. So that there'll be no net 
gain or loss of water molecules by any of the two solutions, that is C and D will not gain or lose water.